If you like the Ivy Lee method, but you're stuck getting started, here's a leg up. Greetings, Earthlings. I'm Dr. Will, and welcome to Dr. Will Presents. My use of the Ivy Lee method evolved from notes in my journal, to notes on a blank page, to plain 3x5 card. Finally, I printed off some special 3x5 cards to help me along. If you're interested in more content like this, then join the conversation. Subscribe below. Last time, we talked about the Ivy Lee method and described its history, but I never showed you what it looked like on paper. First, I tried recording each day in my journal. That was fine, but each of the daily plans and results were on separate pages, and there were other notes scattered in and among them, so it was a little difficult to figure out any patterns. I happened to have a few 3x5 index cards laying around, and I started using them. Each day I'd put the basic format on the card and then fill in my tasks. Yeah, that was a definite improvement, but I thought I'd like to have a more standardized card. I found that Avery makes a 3x5 index card stock, 5388, which is laser cut, three cards to a letter size sheet. So I created a template for the Ivy Lee method cards and printed them. So here's the card filled out. The day of the week is in the upper left corner. The date is in the upper right corner. And there are six lines numbered for the daily tasks. Space for notes at the bottom. The back side is blank. So I can use that to brainstorm all my tasks, then pick the six most important ones, prioritize them, and then write them on the front. So the reason I gravitated to the index cards is so that I could lay them all out a week, month, or even more at a time. Using color highlighters, I can identify tasks with projects, visually show how many times tasks were left incomplete, and look for patterns. Shown here, I can note that my orange project often was associated with not completing tasks. That suggests that those aren't bite-sized tasks, and I should work on breaking them down as I mentioned, I'm giving away the template for the Avery 5388 index card stock. So that's the evolution of my use of the Ivy Lee method. You can grab a copy of the PDF using this link, and then you can print off your own cards. So send me a note or fill out the comment below. A conversation is far more interesting than a monologue. I'll be here each week on Tuesday. Subscribe and you'll be notified when the next episode is released. It's been great talking with you this week, so be careful out there, and I'll be seeing you. Bye.